Hello everybody and welcome to the Microsoft Office certification review for the program Microsoft Word 2013. This video will be demonstrating all the techniques that are necessary to try and get a very good score on the Microsoft Office Specialist Word 2013 exam. Now I'm going to try and make this as similar to the exam as possible with sort of the same layout. Um, it's basically going to give you an idea of what the exam will be about. And we will be going through this document explaining everything that you need to do to this document. Basically on your exam you will have one document, a random document, it will not be this one, um, and you will be asked to perform a number of tasks possibly more than what we have in here but we're going to try and cover everything that is necessary for your exam now the first thing we're going to do is we have our own we have our program open and on your certification exam you will not have access to the help button and a few things under the um, uh, in the backstage view so anyway let's go ahead and get started so we have to open the telephone etiquette uh, file from the shared folder and perform the following task. Well, we already have that open and it will already be provided to you while you have your certification. So the first thing we need to do is position the telephone graphic as tight. So how you do that is you right click on or um, you right click on the photo, right click it, see where it says wrap text and click on tight. Now you can also do it from right here, wrap text, right here tight, and there you go. Alright, and you can also go on the Format tab and click on Wrap Text and do it from here. Alright, so we've done that. Next thing is to rotate the telephone graphic 45 degrees. So just right click, go to Size and Position, go to Rotation, and type in 45. And there you go. Number three, set autocorrect options so that text will not be replaced as you type. Now, what you do here is you go into the backstage view, go to Options, Go under proofing, go under autocorrect options, uh, auto format as you type. Oh, wait, no, I'm, I'm sorry. The autocorrect tab, and right here where it says place tech, replace text as you type, uncheck that. I'm just going to leave it checked just because I don't want to have to go back and fix it. All right. Number four, add Vandelhein to the autocorrect options on, their, on your computer as an exception. Here's how you do that. Go to File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect Options, under Exceptions, here um, go under Other Corrections, and type in Vandelheim. Add, and there you go. Alright, close out. Also during your exam, also do remember to save every now and then, just in case something were to happen. It's very important that you do this. Okay. Number five, change the auto. Oh wait, uh, number five. Sorry, change the auto recover file location to the Microsoft Documents folder. All right, so go to File, Options, go to Save, go to Auto Recover File Location, right here, then your Documents folder. And there you go. All right, number six. Split the document after the placing a telephone call section and then remove the split. Now, in your certification, you will not actually have things like that. You will not say then remove the split. It will actually just say split it and then don't, or then don't do anything. All right, so we're going to place a split here. Go under, which tab is it under? <laughs> right here, view. Then click on split window. And that's it. So we're going to remove the split. And here we go. Number seven. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, number seven. Okay, I'm on. Find Anne Vandelhein and replace it with your first and last name in a double underlined red font. So we're going to do go under your home tab, go under replace, find what? And Vandelhein. Oh, whoops. Can't pull. Then replace it with your first name. I'm not going to put my actual name there, but you can get the idea. Now go under More, go under Format, Font. Um, make sure you have um, Replace With selected while you do this. Go to Format, go to Red, then go to Underline, or then go to Underline Style, and then choose 
um, the double underline. Then replace. There you go. Close out of that. Oh, what? Uh, what did I do wrong? Font uh, underline. Uh. Oh, okay. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, let's just undo that. Let's. There we go. Let's redo that. All right. Replace. Replace. That fix it. There we go. Okay. Uh, number whatever. <laughs> Hyperlink the graphic to open to this website when selected. Okay, so just right click, go to hyperlink, go to existing firewall web page, um, and you're going to type this in actually. And there you go, and you should have it. So then when you control click on it, you will be able to go to the web page, but this page actually does not exist, I do not think. Okay. Add a custom watermark to the report to include your name, Garamond font, size 96, color black, text 1, lighter 15%. Alright, so go to design, go to watermark, custom watermark, click on text watermark, type in your first and last name with the Garamond font. Uh, let's just type it in actually. There we go with size 96 um, the color will be where's the color at oh here we go under black text one lighter 15 percent lighter 15 there we go go to apply and okay all right next one double space the report then add face uh the face it footer the odd page one so that it only shows on odd pages, and the company name is SCHS. So in order to in order to select all the text in the document, just press Control A. Um, then go to your paragraph group under the Home tab, line paragraph spacing, then choose the two. Okay. Then it says add the facet, or um, however you pronounce it. I do apologize. The facet odd page footer. So that it will include SCHS. So it only shows on odd pages. So it only shows on odd pages. And here's how you do that. Um, click on your options tab, and then it will show um, for different odd and even pages. So under even pages, just don't type anything, but under odd pages, just type this. There you go. Next one. Add condensed spacing to the report. Same thing. Press Control A, go to the paragraph group under the home tab, click on the dialog box. Remember your dialog boxes are very important on the certification exam, so are your, uh, so are your shortcut menus, so do remember those. Um, where is it? Right here. Um, oh, I do apologize. It's under font. Go to advanced, spacing, and click on condensed. There you go. It's condensed. At a page break just above the reference on the last page, the title of the page is Works Cited. Type this above the reference and apply the title quick style to the Works Cited title. Alright, so down here, where it should say um, right above the uh, site, or the reference, I should say, click on Insert, Page Break, and type in Works Cited. Then apply the st uh, the which one is it? The title quick style. Okay, and there you go. Apply a hanging indent to the reference. Now this actually does not need a hanging indent because it has condensed spacing, but we'll just go ahead and do it so you know how to do it. Go to the paragraph dialog box. Click on you see where it says ind indentation, and click on special and hanging. And there you go. Change the page color to dark blue, text to lighter sixty percent. Go to design, page color. And it should be one of these actually. Oops, sorry. Dark blue, text to lighter 40%. There we go. Alright. Add a shadow page border, three point width, measured from the text. Under the same tab, page borders, shadow, three point. Go to options, measured from, measured from the text. 
There you go. There are six paragraphs under the heading cell phone and pagers. Change the last five of those paragraphs to a bulleted list. Define a new bullet for these lists to be the tulips.jpg file from the pictures folder. All right, so we will do that under the cell phone pictures. Uh, select the last five. So there you go. All of them at the first one. Um, go to this right here. Click on define new bullet list. You can also do you can also do this from the home tab. Um, click on picture. Click on browse from a file from your computer under sample pictures. Click on tulips. Now Windows 8 actually does not provide this for you. Um, you actually have to, I actually had to download the image, but I just wanted to illustrate the fact that it is a tulip. Okay, so there you go. Draw a text box around the paragraph in the placing a telephone call section. Shade the box dark blue, text to letter 40%. Okay, placing a telephone call, which one, where is that? Uh, right here. Okay, go to home, or no, go to insert, go to text box, go to draw text box, and it will put it inside of a text box. Now, go to format, go to shape fill, and it says lighter 40%, so that's right here. Text 2, lighter 40%. There you go. Next one. Convert the cellular providers in the area table to text separated by a colon. Alright, highlight it. Go to layout. Go to convert to text under the data group, or above the data group. Separate text width. Click on other, and click and type in the colon. And there you go. Insert the title's cover page with your name as the author and telephone etiquette as the title. Erase all other placeholders. Now, unfortunately, in um, Microsoft Office 2013, we do not have the title's cover page, and I forgot to edit that. I do apologize. So we will just use the banded one. But don't worry. On your actual certification, you will have everything that you need and necessary to take the exam. So if you cannot find it, it is just because you cannot find it. All right, so we're just going to... All right, so this is the title. We already have that placeholder. So just type in um, telephone etiquette. All right. Now your name will go here. Let's just leave that. And then um, erase all the other fields. And there you go. All right. Change the first paragraph heading leaving messages to header style one. All right. So we will do that. Highlight it. Go to home. Go to heading style one. Type it or click on it. Now, use the format painter to change all remaining paragraph headings to header style 1. Click on the format painter. It already has this selected, so now you have this format. Now, highlight the rest of your headings like this. Go back to the format painter. And keep doing it until all of your headings have been edited. Oh, whoops. And there you go. Insert a fancy format table of contents with the hyphen leader showing only head only headings one and two after the cover page. So we will do that. Scroll up to the cover page. Let's just do it right here, for instance, since you cannot actually edit anything inside the cover page. Go to references, table of contents, custom table of contents, a fancy hyphen tab leader, only showing levels one and two. And there you go. Demote the second and third bullet one time within the cell phone and pagers section. Just do that by tabbing it out once. There you go. Add a comment to the paragraph heading electron answering systems read to read, also known as voicemail. Go to review, go to new comment, then type it in. There you go. Final one. Restrict editing of this document with the password SCHS to comments only. Go to your go to the backstage view. Go to protect document. Go to restrict editing. Click on restri edit editing restrictions. Go to comments. Click on yes. Start enforcing. Then type in the password. And there you go. All right. So I hope you all enjoyed this little um this little tutorial for your certification. I hope you all do good. And thank you for and thank you to Jennifer Tindall from Spring Creek High School for making this 
um, little review. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next video.